welcome to my channel. I don't have a whole lot in the way of plans today. I just thought I wanted to try something really, really different. See how it goes. Exciting. Oh, and ignore the room. I'm redoing the glam room. That's what we call it, the glam room. You have to look up when you say glam room. I'm redoing it, and so I'm reupholstering the sofa. I'm trying to get stuff up on the wall, so I've had those same little affirmations taped up there like forever. But they make me happy, so it's okay. All right, so this is Fiona Styles. It's a little pump applicator. I've used it a couple times. It is a matte finish, and it does pretty well with being matte. And I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede. NYX Liquid Suede. Oh, that's hard to say. And this is the color one. Hmm. There must be another name for this. Stone Fox. <laughs> Stone Fox is the name. It's a really pretty, like, gray. We're going to try a little something with that to make it look fancy. And then my Anastasia Brow Wig. I got these 21 Days of Beauty also. Because around here, we live on a budget. And uh, it's really awesome. It does really, really great. I've been using my toothbrush. Face brush. Isn't that what they're called? Like toothbrush style or whatever. Anyway, so I've been using it. I'm going to add BioSense oil to it, though, but I left it. Hold on. I'm back. Alright, put it onto the side because I worry about it just dropping to the bottom of the brush. And then we'll put in color number five. I put this on sideways too. That just bothers me. Okay. So tap 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 tap. See, these are the perks of allowing your beauty blender to stay dirty longer than it should and not cleaning it. You end up trying new ways to apply your makeup. Okay. And I know a lot of people put foundation on their neck. But it makes me nervous. That's going to like get on my collar and then you just look dirty. That's just me. So I put it on. I start here and I might run down a little. And I'll run out. Just in the corner. And we're blending. Then contour. I'm going to do a cream contour instead of a powder contour, contour today. That's elf. Mm. Take this. Shrink to the forehead. My husband loves to remind me that they, whoever they are, they say us yellow girls have larger foreheads. I like to think that my forehead is average size. That does not stop me from pulling down the baby hairs and enjoying a bang now and then. But, it's not large. This is me getting rid of my double chin because, as I like to say, I only need one. Only need one chin. Okay, so I've gotten better at the contouring. It's a little upsetting at first. Kind of just bad. So, something I've learned is, I was trying to go like down and over and make the little bulb and then I just look like I had like a smurf nose, like a ball at the end. Just go straight down. Do anything fancy. Just psh, psh. And then you come in and that right there will give you that little boop. Person. <laughs> That's my phone. A little embarrassing. But anyways, so, I actually don't have any problem with the size of my nose but I've noticed if I'm taking pictures it does look better contoured so maybe consider that in your everyday I wouldn't bother with all this I don't but if you know you're taking pictures you're going out with your girlfriend you can be in the club maybe you're not in the club maybe you're at a restaurant maybe you're fancy like that yep shrinking the nose is helpful I'm just saying then we take this and right under her it gives you the fucker the fucker your lips Blending. Take my little poof, my poof, and my banana powder. Again, I try not to add too, too much because I feel like then it looks crepey. Maybe I'm not moisturizing enough. What if I'm not? Alright, 
So now when I do my shadow, I can just wipe out the fallout. I don't want to do that too much either because I want the blush to stick. Got to have sticky blush. Start with the eyeballs because they're going to be fancy. So I'm going to take this yellow. It's all packed on there. See it? And I'm just going to... So I'm trying to keep my eyes open. I think I've mentioned this in other videos. As I'm putting this on so I know what it's going to look like when I'm staring back at you. Okay. I feel like my eyes seem more hooded, but they're that weird hooded, but not hooded. Strange. All right, so I'm gonna take yellow. That's our pop color. Pop. That's more of a click than a pop, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I know it, you know it, we both know it. Lid, we're gonna go for pink. Vibrant. And I'm gonna try to remember to take this all the way up. See, I have a habit of like shrinking my lids by only putting it low. God gave you that lid for a reason, woman. Apply, apply, apply. I'm gonna go in with my purple. So I'm gonna take my crease brush. I haven't been saying what all my brushes are. Sorry about that. I'm going in our crease here. I'm gonna take it out. That little outer corner V. It's kind of going to be a colorful smoky look, so I'm not gonna worry too much about what's happening over here. I'm gonna keep pulling it up into my yellow, but not cover it, because that would just not make sense. I would have done all that yellow for nothing. I'm trying to decide if I wanna pull it out into purple. Or maybe I do purple and then pull it out into pink. I think I will. So we're going to go with purple. Right here in the middle. I'm just going to smudge it right into the lash line. That was me cleaning my brush. Very sanitary, just right there on my hand. And I'm going to go with my pink. I'm going to use the same pink with just a dab of a lighter one. So I'm going to use the same pink we did for the lid with just a dab of this lighter one in there. Some dimension in there. And we're going to go on the outside with that one. And we're just going to meet that corner right there and take this very bright and vibrant yellow. Come in here. Now, I'm going to take my NYX, this is the NYX liner. Uh, this is Platinum, SL08. It's a platinum liner. I'm going to take this on the waterline on the bottom. It's always fun. Got that on there without incident. That don't always happen. Take my Dolce. I believe it's Doce. It's D-O-U-C-C-E. Doce. Could be Doce. I think it's Doce. Anyways, it's super soft. I love this eye pencil. So I'm going to go up into the top water line. With this one. Oh, it tickles. It got me. Woo. Okay, so I'm going to go with my liquid liner. I'm not going to do a super big wing. Just a little one. Don't we always plan on a little one? This is by Essence. Essence Super Soft, Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. It's waterproof. Essence. The little bit of secret, if I can say I have one, because I am not a master liquid eyeliner applier person. Prep for that wing. I'm going to drag it.
don't even know if I included all that in the video because it's, it's a little stressful, that eyeliner thing, you know? I think I need a cookie now. I didn't know love, but I do now. Cause you're